Good morning, I am Miss Kruger and today we are going to take a look at an art technique for visual arts grade 7 and um, yes, this technique can be done in many different ways but I'm going to show you um, the two ways that I can do it with the supplies that I have. Depending on the supplies that you have, you can also experiment with it a little bit. Okay, I hope this angle is fine and I hope that you can see clearly. Um, I will try my best to change the angle if it's necessary and things like that. Okay, so <clears throat> I feel like I also have to apologize for any noise that you hear. Um, I live across a very busy street, so you will hear cars driving past. Um, the lockdown has not changed that. It is very busy. Um, so I do apologize if you hear cars or people shouting and stuff like that. Um, I went to a very well-lit area in my house and an area where there is a desk where I can work. Um, so I apologize if you do hear cars. Okay, awesome. Let's get started. So um, get a piece of paper. Give me uh, any piece of paper. Uh, this piece of paper that I have, um, it came with a watercolor paint set that I had. And I just like to use this piece of paper, well, this paper specifically because it uh, resonates well with paint. You can use any paper you want. Then you need water. Um, so I just use an all tomato paste little container, cleaned it and put some clean, fresh water in there so that I can wet my paintbrush, which brings me to a paintbrush. Okay, please make sure that your paintbrush is clean before you start. Uh, because all paint and dry paint can affect the way your artwork looks. Um, and then I put, oh, most importantly, I don't know why I didn't start with this, but I put a piece of newspaper down and then my paper on top of it because you don't want to make a mess. And if you make a mess, you can always throw away a piece of newspaper and no furniture or floor or anything where you, the space you're working in, nothing will be damaged. Okay. Also just roll up your sleeves just in case. Okay, then I also just have a piece of um, Carlton roll. This one I've used for painting um, a little bit. And so that's why it looks like this. It's just sometimes I use it to clean my brushes. And then, yeah, um, this is an old one that I'm just going to reuse again. Uh, I like to reuse and repurpose stuff and things. Then any paint um, that you have. I have this tempera um, school paint. It's in, in just a black color, dark color. So any paint that you have. I also have um, watercolor paint. So you can use any paint that you have. But today for this purpose I'm going to use the tempera paint. Um, you can use any paint that you have. Watercolor paint or any paint will ha work actually, as long as it's not oil based, it needs to be water based. Okay, and I'm going to put away the watercolor paint because I don't need it. Okay, then a wax candle, um, because I have a wax candle and I can use it. If you don't have a wax candle, if you have a wax crayon, um, you're more than welcome to use it. That's another, another way that this technique can be done with a wax crayon, but um, for this purpose, I'm going to use a wax candle. And then I also have um, oil pastels. Okay, so that part, um, so I'm going to experiment with this one as well. Oh, let's choose a color from here. Um, no wax. I'm going to go with blue because it's cold today. Okay, so. Basically, so if you don't have a white candle and you do have oil pastel, you can use it. And if you don't have a candle, nor do you have oil pastel, but you do have a wax crayon, please use the wax crayon. Okay, so this is how it's going to work. You're going to draw something on your piece of paper with the wax crayon, wax candle, or the oil pastel. I'm just going to draw something simple just so that I can show you um, the technique, you know, just, I'm just going to like, I'm 
Christmas, draw like a, a fern or something like that. I'll show you now. So this is just a simple drawing that I'm doing with with my oil oil pastel just so that I can show you the technique you can draw something more intricate then this side of the piece of paper I'm going to draw something with my wax candle um, once again I'm just drawing simple things just to show you the technique just want to make sure that there are no like crumbs of the candle left or something like that okay then okay the tempera paint okay I'm just going to shake it a bit because it's been in in, in like the storage room oh it's not really a storage room just like a cupboard thing um yeah and it's been quite old. I'm just going to pour a little bit of it onto the newspaper. Going to wet my brush. Okay. So that it soaks up some of the water. Okay, so here I put, you can't see it because it's with the white candle wax. And over here it is the oil pastel. I'm going to just wet on my brush and the paint. Um, so the thing is when you paint, just going to move this so you can see quite clearly it is important that you do not press down your brush too much otherwise you will break the bristles of of the paintbrush mm, this one's coming out really nicely so and it's and it's important to have you know um very flowy strokes you know, just this is also something to relax and calm yourself down during this lockdown I'm just gonna paint over it It's coming up quite nicely, I think. Um, I'll just go over the drawing. Be creative with your drawing. Remember, um, so because you're using water-based paint, the wax, we know that wax is more oil-based. Um, and we all know from NS that oil and water do not mix. They never mix. So here is the finished project. I think that the candle wax worked a lot better with this technique. As you can see there, I drew a smiley face. And over here, this one, I think... If you look at it closely, and maybe if it dries a little, it will look better. So I'm just going to bring it closer to the camera so you can see. Okay, so here is the challenge that I'm setting out for you. This is also part of your curriculum, so don't think I'm just doing this for fun. This is fun also, but this is part of your curriculum. Please remember to clean your brush. Okay, so specifically, I want you to draw a picture that shows an emotion. So I use the color blue, it was actually not by random, because it's cold today and I'm feeling cold. So that's why I drew this little blue leaf over here, this fern. And But I'm also very happy, and that's why I drew the smiley face with the candle wax. So choose an emotion and show, um, draw anything that represents that emotion on a piece of paper and then paint over it. So thank you, yes. Um, 
I hope that you enjoyed this. Um, this is a very easy technique to do um, to test out this technique. I like, tried it out a little bit earlier as well, but this is this is just um, I, I used oil pastel here for for this effect, and it didn't work very well. Um, it still worked, but not that well. So that's why I went and dug out my candles. But um, I hope that you have a very good day and that you enjoy this art lesson. And then hopefully we will see each other soon again. Okay, bye.